Hey guys, it's Drew again. I wanted to show a really quick video, something I've been thinking about. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, uh, I have one of my players that I love to collect, and I did a video recently on some of the oddball cards or the non-traditional cards of him was, or is, Pee Wee Reese. And uh, if you guys don't know, Pee Wee Reese played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He was the captain, uh, leader of the team. Rookie year was 1941 through 1958, and uh, Hall of Famer, but uh, all around just uh, the heartbeat of the team, uh, shortstop for the team, and uh, if you're not familiar with who he is, which I can't imagine most of you are not, go look him up and see what he can do, but um, I've got a number of different Pee Wee Reese items, and I wanted to kind of do a small series on some of them. I've already shown some of the cards off, but I want to show a few other things, so just a real quick video. I wanted to show one of the displays that I made and actually another piece that has to do with that display. Uh, I make a lot of displays, displays back here. You can see the shadow box here. Um, some of the other things, not really there. The catcher's gear thing up there I made. But uh, I like to put together different things and create a little theme uh, within a frame or within a box or something like that. If you haven't seen it, go back and look at my Red Heart set. I've got that completely framed up. One of my favorite videos, one of my more popular videos, and absolutely one of my favorite pieces within my collection. But we're going to talk about Pee Wee Reese today. So what I want to do is I want to show um, something I have shown off before. A lot of you have seen this before. And anytime you get a chance to show off something amazing, you've got to do it. So... Uh, if you guys know Scott from Reindeer Studios, um, within his uh, Quest for His Holy Grail series, I was the number two um, episode within that, and what he did was a charcoal drawing for me of Pee Wee Reese, which I have framed up, and I usually have it hanging, but I want to go ahead and show that. And if you have not seen that video before, do yourself a favor and go check it out, because it's just absolutely incredible watching him do it. Uh, that entire series was incredible. But I absolutely love this picture. And uh, it was about two years ago when Scott and I started discussing uh, him doing this. And it's based on a photograph. And I want to show you that photograph and what it actually came from. So the photograph was actually during a World Series against the Yankees. I think it was 1953, but I'm not 100% sure. But the photograph itself, I'm going to show kind of part of it. I have it framed up within um, a display. So I kind of show the the photograph part and leave the other part. But as you can see, that's that's where he uh, got a copy of it, uh, of him turning. One of the things I really love about this photograph outside of the subject itself is this is an in-play picture. A lot of photographs from that era and before were either posed or very far away and grainy. But this is a great picture of him um, probably doing a backhand um, catch to throw out at second or at first. And uh, it's just a great photograph. I wanted to, I like my pieces when I put them together to tell a story. So you wouldn't know unless you know who Pee Wee Reese is, who that is. So what I did was I also took uh, my favorite, one of my favorite cards of him, and I got an additional copy of it. I think I have three copies of this card actually, which was 1956 Pee Wee Reese. And I put that in, and then also I was able to get a cut autograph from Pee Wee Reese as well. Um, so a little bit more about this story and this is going to tie into something else that I'm going to show probably in my next video if I, if I think about it. Um, but I want to talk about this autograph. So that autograph obviously Pee Wee Reese it's a great sign and where that came from is that actually came from a autograph book that was from a woman who lived in New York and uh, grew up and she was a huge baseball fan and she had a little autograph book as a kid I don't know how exactly old but she would go uh, to games to all three apparently all three um, different teams and she would try to get autographs of different players uh, coming in and out of the stadium so she, this autograph book that this Pee Wee Reese came from was packed full tons of autographs but not only Dodgers also visiting teams uh, had other players from um, from the uh, the era as well uh, as well as Yankees and American League players too um, within this Pee Wee Reese the next page because I actually saw the book before before this autograph uh, on the next page over was Jackie Robinson. It was a beautiful autograph. I don't own that. Um, and then a few pages away was a beautiful Roy Campanella. I don't own that one either. I'm just letting everybody know. This is the only one I got. Um, the person who uh, ended up 
buying the book and ended up, you know, selling me the, uh, the, the Reese autograph, he uh, bought it from the daughter of the woman who got these autographs. And they are all dated on the back of the paper. So my PB Reese is 1948. That's a lot of the era is right up into the, the, the late 40s, up into around 1950. And uh, so there is no Mickey Mantle in there. Um, but I do believe there was a Joe DiMaggio in there. And anyway, the guy who got this book, um, he reached out to me knowing I was a PB Reese and said, are you interested in any of these Dodgers? Well, I was interested in all of them. However, I couldn't afford the other ones. But I did get the Pee Wee Reese. And then uh, he actually is a um, uh, part of a side business he does is actually matting uh, stuff. And he actually made the mat for me. And when I bought the uh, Reese for me, he sent me the matting for this set too. I told him what I wanted. I had the photograph, got the card, put it all together. So I wanted to show this off. One of my favorite displays, it's not very large, but it doesn't have to be. I think this display tells a story. Uh, it tells the story of Pee Wee Reese. Um, you can obviously see the autograph. You can kind of see uh, uh, in the card itself, it, you know, his shortstop, the team, his name. Again, another great action picture of him jumping over. Um, and then the actual photograph of him playing in the World Series. So I wanted to share that. I wanted to make this quick video and uh, just kind of show off a different part of my collection. I keep talking about displays I make and I want to start sharing some of the ones that I've put together over the years. This is absolutely one of my favorites, not only because of one of my players, but because the story of where I got the autograph from, and then of course the fact that Scott was able to duplicate the photo uh, into this beautiful drawing that I have on another wall within my room. Anyway, thank you for coming along. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope everyone's doing great, and uh, hopefully I'll be making a few more of these videos coming up here soon, showing off some more displays, but until next time, you guys be good.